Good afternoon. It's great to be here. My name is Robin Betts. I'm the Vice President of Quality, Clinical Effectiveness, and Regulatory Services for Kaiser Permanente in Northern California. Um, Kaiser is uh, one of the nation's largest not-for-profit health plans, and we serve a little over 12.2 million members across the country. Our company is headquartered in Oakland, California, and is comprised of Kaiser Foundation Hospitals and its subsidiaries, Kaiser Foundation Health Plan, and we partner with the Permanente Medical Groups uh, to provide medical services for our members. In Northern California, we are responsible to deliver on our mission of providing affordable, high-quality health care to our members and the communities in which we serve. Northern California alone has almost 4.3 million members that come to us every day with a sacred trust that we will heal them and, and, and keep them safe and treat them and their families with respect and compassion. So as a health care provider, we have a moral obligation to do no harm. Safety is our top priority because if we fail on safety, we fail on the rest. And what I mean by that even if it, when we harm someone, even if we ultimately heal them and are nice to them, they haven't had the extraordinary experience that we'd hoped for. So with safety top of mind, we are committed to eliminating medical errors and have uh, made six commitments to the Patient Safety Movement Foundation and will expand our commitments this coming year. Kaiser is proud to share with you today some of our successes from 2018. So first, uh, we spread across our 21 hospitals a predictive algorithm uh, embedded in our electronic medical record that alerts us to patients whose cumulative clinical um, picture shows signs of decompensation within 12 hours. This allows us to move upstream to put in a care plan and interventions uh, more quickly instead of waiting until they completely decompensate. So uh, we, um, sorry, I think I lost my notes here. <laughs> but anyway, this really aligns with the, um, with the Patient Safety Movement Foundation apps of failure to rescue. Uh, in the first six months of, no, in the, in the first, during our pilot and in the first six months of this year, the results of that saved 169 lives, and we're really looking forward to, in 2019, sharing a more comprehensive cumulative total. Uh, this success really, like I said, aligns with the Patient Safety Movement Foundation app's failure to rescue. Now, second, we, with almost 24 million medication doses administered during our baseline year, so think about that, in one year, in my 21 hospitals, I have an opportunity uh, to get it right every time, 24 million times, to administer a medication correctly. So uh, because of that high risk, we have a continuous focus on reducing adverse drug events and have committed to reducing um, our adverse drug event rate by 30%. Our work this year resulted in saving 13 lives. Now third, uh, we have a continued focus on C. difficile infection reduction. Even with um, our current stratified infection ratio of 0.6, we want to improve and have committed to further reducing our events, and this has resulted in saving two lives this year. Uh, fourth, we're focusing on central line associated bloodstream infections. Um, across our organization. This is a very costly um, uh, condition for both our patients and the organization. So we're actually performing relatively well on this indicator, but yet we're not at zero. So uh, our work this year resulted in saving two lives. Finally, we have also committed to reducing falls with injury and hospital-acquired pneumonia. Uh, our work around hospital-acquired pneumonia resulted in saving five lives. So we really appreciate the opportunity to publicly commit to saving lives and uh, through the Patient Safety Movement Foundation, as well as having access to and the opportunity to contribute to the actionable patient safety solutions that provide evidence-based leadership, 
governance and interventions proven to eliminating harm. So thank you.